In this video, we are going to talk about how to use compound interest formula in solving word problems. So when we say compound interest, it is the addition of interest to the principal sum of a loan or deposit. So the formula in compound interest, that is A equals P times 1 plus R over N raised to N T, where A is the final amount or the future value. And then P is the principal or original amount. R is the annual interest rate. N it is the number of periods per year. And then T is the time per year. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, Maria puts 20,000 pesos in a savings account paying 8% annual interest compounded monthly. At this rate, how much money will be in the account after 10 years. So let us identify first the given. So the principal that is 20,000 pesos. Then rate that is 8% or 0 0.08. And then time that is 10 years. And then N is the number of periods. So as you can see, it is compounded monthly. So there are 12 months in a year. So N is 12. And then we are looking for the amount of money on his account after 10 years. So we are going to find the future value. Now we are going to use the formula Future value equals principal times 1 plus R over N raised to N T. Then, we have principal that is 20,000 multiplied by 1 plus R, that is the interest rate, that is 0 0.08 over Number of periods, that is 12. Raised to 12 times years, that is 10. Then we're going to have 20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, that is 0 0.00. .00 six 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 seven then twelve times ten that is one twenty then let us write twenty thousand one plus zero point zero zero six 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 seven that is one point zero zero six 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 seven raised to one hundred twenty then, let us write 20,000, 1.006667 raised to 120, that is 2.219640235. Therefore, 20,000 multiplied by 2.219640235 that is 44,392.80 pesos. So the future value is 44,392.80 pesos. So this will be our answer. What about the interest? So to find the interest, interest equals Future value minus principal. So the future value is 44,392.80 minus 20,000. So the interest after 10 years is 24,392.80. So this will be our answer. What about number two? 
James wants to have 2 million pesos for retirement in 45 years. He invests in a mutual fund paying an average of 9.5% each year compounded quarterly. How much should he deposit into his mutual funds? So let us identify the given. So as you can see, James wants to have 2 million. That is the future value, which is 2 million. Then, time will be 45 years. And then, interest rate, that is 9.5% or simply 0 0.095. Then number of periods, that is compounded quarterly, there are four quarters in a year, so n is four. And we are looking for the principal, the amount of money invested. So let us use the formula, future value equals principal times one plus r over n raised to n times t. So the future value is 2 million equals principal times 1 plus 0 0.095 divided by 4 raised to 4 times 45. Then to simplify, we have 2 million equals P times 1 plus 0 0.095 divided by 4, that is 0 0.02375. Then 4 times 45, that is 180. Then, let us write again 2 million equals P times 1 plus 0 0.02375, that is 1.02375 raised to 180. Then to simplify, let us write 2 million equals P times 1.02375 raised to 180, that is 68. 37615231 Then let us divide the whole equation by 68.37615231 Let us write here So let us cancel this one so principal equals 2 million divided by 68.37615231. If you are going to divide this one, we're going to have principal that is 29,249. 9641. So this will be our answer. Now, let us find the interest after 45 years. So interest equals future value minus the principal. Future value, that is 2 million, minus the principal, which is 29,249.9641. So, to subtract, we're going to have 1,970,750.036 pesos. So, this will be the interest after 45 years. On number 3, Sarah wishes to turn her 10,000 pesos investment into 100,000 pesos in 20 years. How much interest does she need to receive compounded annually to reach her goal? So let us identify the given. The future value is 100,000 pesos. 
and then the principal that is 10,000 pesos and then time is 20 years and then n that is the number of periods we have compounded annually that is one and then we are looking for the interest rate so the formula is future value equals principal times one plus r over n raised to n t so we have the future value that is one hundred thousand pesos and then principal that is ten thousand pesos times one plus r over n that is the number of period that is one raised to one times twenty then to simplify we have one hundred thousand equals ten thousand times one plus r divided by one that is r raised to 20. Then, let us divide the whole equation by 10,000. So let us cancel this one. So we have 1 plus r raised to 20 equals 100,000 divided by 10,000, that is 10. Then, to eliminate the exponent, let us raise both sides of the equation by 1 over 20. So 10 raised to 1 over 20. Then let us cancel this one because 20 times 1, that is 20 divided by 20, that is 1. So we're going to have 1 plus r raised to 1 or simply 1 plus r. And then 10 raised to 1 over 20, that is 1.12 1 two zero one eight four five four then let us move one to the side of one point twelve twenty eighteen forty five four that is r is one point one two two zero one eight four five four minus one that is r that is zero point twelve 20, 18, 4, 5, 4. And then, to find the interest rate, we're just simply move two decimal places to the right. 1, 2. So the interest rate is 12.20184454%. Or, you can write your answer as R equals 12.20. 20, 18%, four decimal places to be safe. Now, let us find the interest. Interest equals future value minus the principal. So future value, that is 100,000. And then principal, that is 10,000. So 100,000 minus 10,000, that is 90,000 pesos. So this will be the interest after 20 years. What about number 4? Marta invests 50,000 pesos in an index annuity that's averaging 8.4% compounded semi-annually. At this rate, how many years for her account to reach 1 million pesos? So let us identify the future value. That is 1 million. Then, principal, that is 50,000. And then, we have rate, that is 8.4%, or simply 0 0.084. And then, number of periods. So, we have semi-annually, that is 2. And we are looking for time. So the formula is future value equals principal times 1 plus r over n raised to n t. So we have the future value. We have 
1 million equals principal that is 50,000 times 1 plus rate that is 0 0.084 over 2 raised to 2t because we are looking for the time. Then we have 1 million equals 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.084 divided by 2. That is 0 0.042 raised to 2t. And then we have 1 million equals... 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.042, that is 1.042 raised to 2t. Then, let us divide the whole equation by 50,000. So, let us cancel this one. So, we're going to have 1. 0 0.042 raised to 2t equals 1 million divided by 50,000 that is 20. Now, to find the value of t or the number of years, we are going to use the property of logarithm. So let us have log 1.042 raised to 2t equals log 20. So we are going to use the property of logarithm that is log a raised to n. That is n log a. So we are going to move the exponent in front of the logarithm. So we're, this time in our given, we have log 1.042 raised to 2t that is 2 t log 1.042 equals log 20. Then, let us divide the whole equation by log 1.042. So, let us write our answer here. So, we have, let us cancel this one. So, we're going to have 2t equals log 20 divided by log 1.042. Then, to simplify, we have 2t log 20, that is 1.30102996 over log 1.042. That is 0 0.0178677189. Then let us divide this one. So we have 2t. So if you are going to divide this one, we're going to have 72.8145447. Then to find the value of t, let us divide the whole equation by 2. So T is 72.8145547 divided by 2. That is 36.4072773 years. Or you can write your answer as 36.41 years. So this will be our answer. Then to find the interest, we have interest, that is future value minus principal, that is 1 million minus 50,000, that is 950,000 pesos. So this will be the interest after 36.41 years. So I hope you learned from this lesson. See you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all.